Hey guys, hope you are doing well. So today in this video, we are going to talk about GL currency revaluation in Business Central, which is released recently in Microsoft Dynamics 2024 Wave 1 release. Uh, so before that, uh, I just want to showcase you like we are already having some exchange adjustment register, which is currency revaluations uh, for uh, some sub ledgers like vendor bank account and customers. But we were not having any GL currency revaluation. So what does it impact? So when we do the revaluation with customer, vendor and bank account, we can basically choose the each entry and we can book the adjustment according to the entries. But what if, uh, if I have taken a loan uh, and I have parked that loan in a separate GL account and I also want to reconcile the uh, value of that GL because I have taken that loan in the foreign currency, right? So what we need to do, uh, Business Central has given us feature that we can also revalue the combined value of the GL account and uh, we can park the loan uh, which is we can park the loan value or whatever the GL account value uh, in the exchange adjustments. What we can do now, uh, we can also park the GL value uh, of that uh, particular GL account based on the exchange adjustment which we want to have. Now to showcase this, I firstly would like to showcase the changes which Microsoft has given to us. So I will go to feature management first. And inside that feature management, we can see we are having one option which is enable use of GL currency revaluation. Uh, which will be automatically enabled from the release 27. But now I have enabled in my environment and we can see this. One changes which I have seen in the chart of accounts and I have created one account which is loan account, I believe. Uh, so I will search loan. Yeah, I will find loan account here. And inside that loan account, you will find new first tab which is revaluation. And these are the four new fields which we have got. First one is source currency posting. So inside that we are having some options. Uh, one is multiple currency. Second one, same currency. Third one, LCY only. What does it mean? If I choose multiple currencies, then I can post transactions in multiple currencies in this account and that can be used for the revaluation. If I select same currency, then I can use only one currency to post the transactions and I can select that source currency code here if the option selected is same currency. Last one is LCY only. It means I don't want to post any foreign currency transaction. I would like to have same as my local currency, which is defined in general ledger setup. Next one is source currency revaluation. Whether you would enable this account for revaluation, if yes, then system will suggest some revaluation entries based on the exchange adjustment rate and you can see those entries in the general journal which i will showcase you in a bits uh, next is unrealized revaluation so you remember we are having certain uh, gain and losses account uh, defined in the currencies option so here you can see realized gain realized losses unrealized gain and unrealized losses so we have defined some account here and uh, what does it mean if i select here mark this true then what happens when there is some exchange uh, adjustments then system will post it 
into unrealized exchange and losses account if this is false system will post into realized gain and realized losses account one more changes which i have seen in the account there is option which has given source currencies so once i select this you can see i can define whatever the source currencies i would like to have if i am selecting multiple source currencies so here you can see i have taken a loan uh, in the pounds which is 1000 and one for usd which is 2000 so two foreign currencies are there and i can also see the balance in the local currency which is australian dollar right now so if i select here i can see the amount in the local currencies and amount in the foreign currencies so two entries have been created now what i have done in the currency section i have selected the exchange adjustment rate that we used to do uh, for other transactions like subledgers as well so same way i have also defined the earlier currency rate which has been picked up by the system uh, which is on or after 1st uh, january 22 which is 291 and now i have selected the adjustment exchange rate which is 400 same way i have selected for usd as well so if i want to showcase you in the usd i have selected 250 as the adjust exchange rate now what happened there is a one bad job which has been given by system if you see gl currency revaluation i can select which batch i would like to park the revaluation entries i have selected the default one selected the today date and whatever the date where you would like to do the exchange adjustment you can select this date if you want to filter any gl account or currency code definitely you can do it you click on ok and few entries have been created in the general journal and in the default batch so let's move into general journal if i select it i will select my default batch i can find some entries have been created for the loan account and uh, which is 1084 and 1217 and this is the unrealized gain and losses account which has been picked by the system from the currencies since we have marked that bullion true in the gl account card now uh, i can post these transactions into general journal so it has been posted and that's how we can see that we have done the revaluation and now the balance also have got changed based on the revaluation entries that we have posted one more thing which i would like to showcase you here uh, if i go into gl account card and here you will find you know in the gl entries source you will find source currency amount and you can see source currency code uh, for this entry and uh, here if you can see which is gain and loss entry you can see source code which is exchange rate adjustment which is introduced by microsoft so uh, if you want to filter your entries in future you can use this source code as well thanks for watching the video and if you have any queries please feel free to ask thank you